Hello, my name is Paul Farrelly. I'm a third year PhD student in the Australian Centre on China and the World. And in 2013, I was a contestant in the ANU's three minute thesis competition. I guess the first thing that attracted me was the prize money. I'm not going to lie about that. There was a good incentive there in getting some uh, cash. However, as soon as I had that thought, I did realize that I never actually win anything. So I really should have a more um, practical reason for going in this competition. And that was to really think about my research, a cultural history of New Age religion in Taiwan. I'm focusing on the writings of two authors and translators. Uh, one is Terry Hu. She is a former movie star who um, retired from the glamorous world of show business to become a translator and uh, teacher of um, spiritual texts. And the other is C.C. Wang. She trained as an architect, moving to America. Uh, exposure to these spiritual texts in America, she had these transformative experiences and decided when she came back to Taiwan, she wanted to become a translator. Condense it down into three minutes and try and present it in a way that is both appealing and informative. I wrote my draft when I was down in Tasmania at a conference. I, was, I just presented on my research, so a lot of ideas were fresh in my mind. Before I knew it, I had about six minutes. So it was a six minute thesis presentation and I really felt like I hadn't got to the point. So it was a huge uh, battle in being able to um, make my research punchy and uh, to the point, I guess not necessarily win over the judges. You're also looking at the people in the audience who are your peers as fellow PhD students, maybe your supervisor, maybe some of the other academics around who are just curious in what you're doing. And if you can put your, uh, put your words together in three minutes that um, captures their attention, it, it, they'll come up and shake your hand after. For me, the benefit in doing the three minute thesis was not necessarily the actual competition itself. That was great because you do have to memorize your, your talk, get up in front of a bunch of strangers, uh, present it, look confident, try not to slip up your words. And that in itself is a really worthwhile experience. But for me beyond that, it was giving me a very uh, condensed version of my research that I could actually build on so that when I meet with um, professors at a conference or having a chat with someone at a departmental morning tea, I can give them not necessarily the, the generalized version that I gave to the three minute thesis audience, but a more high definition version that they might be interested in as experts in that field. Three minute thesis was challenging because I really think it was the first time since high school that I'd been required to memorize something and speak without notes. So it's basically nearly 20 years. Um, the, I've done a lot of public speaking and I think my public speaking has improved quite a lot over that time. I'm more confident in talking in public and uh, maybe even more convincing, but I'm not sure about that. But in all that time, I never really had to memorize anything. So for me, just that simple act of having to sit down, practice this document line by line, paragraph by paragraph, try and really embed it in my brain so that I could say it in front of an audience without slipping up. Uh, another thing for me, it was really good to um, just sit down with a lot of my colleagues and listen to what they had to say because we talk about our research a lot but often it's fairly specific parts or someone's struggling with this chapter or somebody came across this great resource and they want to talk about it. but it's not really integrated in that sense that they have to do when they deliver the three minute thesis. So for me to just sit down in a room with bunch of my peers and, and hear what they're up to, that was also a really, um, it was a good use of an hour and a half of my time, just brought me up to speed with um, what's going on around the place, because there's a lot of people doing really interesting and useful research.